Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In this video, we will talk about how to write a file to the external memory. If you have a look at the pseudocode, basic functionality is writing to a file. But before you write to a file, you have to make sure that whether the external storage is writable. Before you even check for this, you have to make sure that whether you have the permissions to write to the external storage. And if you don't have the permission, you have to ask for the permission. The same is applicable if at all you want to read from an external memory. So regardless of whether you are writing to a file or reading from a file the template pretty much remains the same if you are wondering how to check whether i have the permissions to do these operations and if not how to ask the permissions i have explained this in a very detailed manner in permissions in android and i will be using pretty much same concept in this particular demo that i will be doing so assuming that you already know how to do this next simpler operation is how to do reading and writing of the file that would be pretty much java code if you have a look at the code the methods have been written in such a way that they take the file as the argument if you pass file which appropriately points to a external storage memory this particular method should be able to write to that particular file that is there on the external storage and read from the file that is on the external storage the next important aspect is how to check whether i have a external storage can i write to that particular external storage can i read from the external storage that is where environment API of the Android comes in very handy. If you have looked at the documentation, you will observe that it defines a lot of constants and methods. There is a method like get external storage directory and get external storage state which can be used to check the state and the path of the directory of the external storage. So to check whether I have readable and writable external storage, I will be using two utilitarian methods such as is external storage writable and is external storage readable. You can see from the code that what I am doing here is I am getting the state of the external storage through environment environment dot get external storage state and I check whether media is mounted or the external storage is mounted in case it is mounted that means I can write to that particular external storage and in case of is external storage readable I am once again getting the state and checking whether it is mounted whether media can be read so I will be utilizing these two methods to check whether the external storage is readable or writable environment defines lot of other methods also which we shall see in the demo in the demo you will get hold of the file system pointing to the external storage and then create a directory the directory name would be the package name of the application and then in that particular directory we will create a sample.txt file so let's get into a demo i will be reusing the code that i had written for the earlier video i will be adding extra code to manage the external read and write operation if you observe now i have a another activity which is a base activity and the main activity basically extends the base activity and in the base activity I have defined pretty much all the methods that I will be using in the main activity if you see here in the main activity I don't have any of the read write methods I am just utilizing those methods which are written in the base activity because main activity extends the base activity we shall proceed now to edit the earlier code where we were writing the content to an internal file in the write to content file we begin by checking whether we have the permissions and if we have the permissions we will write the content to the external file through a method called write to external storage file we will pass the file name and the string else we need to request the permission the same thing needs to be repeated when we want to read the content of the file once again check whether we have the permission and if we don't have the permission request otherwise it means you have to read from the external storage so we will just update the read from file to read from external storage and we pass the file name we are reading the file in another place populate text from the previous session which gets executed when the activity resumes so let me copy paste the same code and modify so that i get the latest value always when the activity resumes after this we have to implement the write to external storage file initially we will check is external storage writable and if it is i will initialize external storage directory which is basically a file type i will initialize it by making a reference to a external storage directory that i can get via 
environment dot get external storage directory since it expects a file so new file then pass the environment dot get external storage directory as the argument and then i have to create a directory inside that external storage directory with the package name of the application so that is the second argument now i will create the directory dot make dir after that i will write to that particular directory file so write file new file pass the external directory and the file name that needs to be created in that particular directory as the second argument and finally the text that needs to be written to that particular file in the same way now we have to implement the functionality of read from external storage here also we begin by checking whether the external storage is readable that is is external storage readable method before proceeding to read we have to make sure that the external storage directory is pointing to the appropriate folder so do a quick check that whether it is equal to null if it is equal to null then make sure that you initialize it with the appropriate directory you can then proceed to read from the file in that particular directory so use the method read from file pass on the file so new file the argument should be path to that particular file that would be external storage directory dot get absolute path and then slash and the file name read from file is pretty plain java code and so is the case with another method that is write to file so let's execute the application now it will begin by asking for the permission grant so let us grant the permissions to read and write after the permissions are granted it will fail to read the file because there is no file on the system so let me write something and save it to the file and after that if i click on read from file i will get the text let me close the application and relaunch i should be able to read the content from the previous session if you are wondering where exactly is the file you can locate it through the android device monitor there you can open the file explorer there will be a folder called as storage under storage a emulated folder inside emulated there will be a folder called zero and somewhere under there you will find the directory with your package name and the sample.txt file you can just pull that and save it on the desktop and if you open file you will find the same content and that is how you do file io operations to the external storage in android that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye